Hello everyone, welcome back to Altrius Plays Doom Eternal. We are loading Erdak. I have done nothing since we last played. Uh, and do you remember we were in a terrible way? Do you remember this happening? Uh, wait, did we already beat you? Well, who are doing it again? I remember um, I was in a terrible way. <laughs> nothing but this rocket launcher all this time. And now we have finally got some uh, ammunition for something that means I don't accidentally blow myself up, which is great. And we weren't sure why we were going to end up uh, restarting. That was the end of the last episode, and now it's this episode. So here we are. Uh, follow me on Twitter for um, various sort of outtakes and stuff like that. I've started making small 10 to 30 second clips, putting them on Twitter um, purely for Twitter and nothing else. Please get to those. Thank you. Um, and some of them will be outtakes, some of them will be, you know, just cool moments that I thought were sweet in the episode. And I think you should have a look at them. So, by all means, uh, follow me on Twitter. Also, that is where we will learn about, or you will learn about, because I will already know. Um, I will teach you about my uh, intentions to... Oh, hello. Are you really bad at this game? <laughs> uh, to stream and do other things like that. This is not the only game I'm going to stream. In fact, it's probably the only game so far that I have not streamed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, we, we, let's not talk about that. Uh, today, how are you doing? I'm fine. I'm kind of tired. So, if you don't mind, a little bit of leniency with your uh, incessant judgement, which nobody has ever caused me, so I um, don't know why I'm talking like this, I just feel like it's more dramatic to uh, build things up to be way more uh, of a problem than they actually really are, so you know, you've got to talk about something, right? Why Why just pretend everything's hunky, well, why Why be Why be hunky-dory with everything being hunky-dory? That's my question to you, when you could uh, dramatically increase the drama factor of just the whole uh, the whole episode by complaining needlessly about nothing at all. Um, please go away. <laughs> kind of hoping that weird things didn't start happening, and yet here they are happening. So don't like this. Can you stop doing this? Why is there another one? Let's go around here and uh, take advantage of this dagger, and also this dagger, and get some HP back. Uh, I'm stuck. You better not be a... <laughs> See, there's such a thing as too good to use syndrome, and I'm really trying to avoid it. Too good to use happens in many, many games. This is indeed one of those games um, whereby you have a thingy that is so good you don't use it, Lest it be uh, not available when you really need it, and of course the uh, the crucible swordy thingy, the note sword, definitely counts as one of those things. And you don't want to be in a position where you're basically died endlessly because you're too stubborn to use something which had you just straight up used like a sensible person. You know, it, it would not have been a problem in the first place. So I'm trying to use the crucible. Not least because, of course, um, a couple of episodes ago, we were given a charge on our Crucible, having not yet used it. Which is absurd and bizarre and silly, so don't get yourself in that position. There's another one. <laughs> and thanks to those... well, that one person, you know who you are. Uh, old, old friend of the channel, with a lot of information about these very games. Um, ow. Uh, pointing out the... the Tyrant is this game's equivalent of the Cyber Demon. I kind of knew. I think that seems fairly clear. Um, the, the, the design is very similar to the original Doom design for the Cyber Demon, um, at the very least. So hopefully that much is at the very least obvious to anybody who's an aficionado of the, the whole Enterprise from 1994 up to now. And of course, um, you know. It, it's not called the same, hopefully for obvious reasons, because it isn't the same. <laughs> um, it's a much different beast. 
and a much different game that's sort of hiding around it. So it is cool that certain tropes like that are sort of following along. It broke. It wasn't supposed to break. <laughs> Damn it. Um, there's a lot of things that are, you know, very clearly uh, inspired by previous things in the Doom series, even if it's not directly the thing. Um, I, I very much appreciate and enjoy it because it, it ties us back into a, a long history. Uh, complained about, rather the opposite. Uh, was very happy to have realised such things in Doom 2060, and I'm glad that they are still doing it right now. So, there's a little bit of information for you. Let's um, please change weapon. There we go. Just in time. In fact, perfect timing, I suppose I should say, because that was amazing. Uh, can we have something of value? Move. You go in. That was excellent. <laughs> That's exactly what I needed to happen. Thank you very much. I have died. You're not wrong. Um, I would probably like to have avoided that if at all possible. Ah, crap! What on earth? This is really hard. It's a difficult fight. I'm not quite sure how to deal with it. Or, yeah, probably the BFG. <laughs> Game is literally telling me... Ah, I don't have a BFG charge. I cannot use it. Um, so that's going to be a difficulty. Please go away. There is a crucible charge, but not a BFG charge, so that's going to make things a little bit more difficult than necessarily maybe it has to be. Didn't really want to waste that on that, because <laughs> now I have to deal with two cyber monkey boats um, with no cyber, uh, cyber punch. You know what I'm saying, even if I don't. Let's get the chain gun out. Um, maybe we can do some good with this by setting dudes on fire. Shooting them in the actual phase. Even though that wasn't quite ideal. Please. There we go. Change to this, because this dude's got a shield and I don't want him to have a shield. Right, now we have a blood punch. Can you just go in? Stop it! Right. Uh, moving on. Nope. No, there's one. We want to headshot you. Not a very good shot. Oh, hello, there's another one right there. Moving on. I have already died, so that's no good. <laughs> this is a sort of uh, part of the game where we end up creating small videos for Twitter. We just, like, can you just be part of the solution? Still a part of the problem. There we go. Down. Nice. Right, now this. This is you. There we go. And then, I don't know. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, I'm happy with this. Because we can get a few things out of it. Uh, let's try not to die straight away. Can I would like this, not that. Thank you very much. Move over. <laughs> Go over here. Sort this out. Get this over here. Sort this out. Oh, heck. There we go. You have this. Every enemy has a different weapon that I need to use against it. <laughs> it's no fun. Get out of the way. Move. Get moving. There we go. Oh my god, where did you come from? 
Go up there. Help. Harrison! <laughs> I'm in trouble. Papa, don't preach. I'm in trouble. I am dead. <laughs> I have died from this, but that's okay. You eat this. We'll get some nice feelings out of it. Oh. <laughs> I don't like this very much. Get out of it. What happened? What's hitting me now? Right. <laughs> That's all of my charges, but at least. Yeah! There we go. <laughs> They're gone. Right. Uh, chain gun, I suppose. <laughs> Never chainsawed one of those before. That was quite satisfying. Um, this, and then some armor and some HP, no doubt. Nice. Very good. Normal shotgun for now. You stop it. Thank you for that. Really appreciate it. Not being sarcastic, even though it sounded very much like I was. Oh, we've done it. Wasn't too much in there, but I did use all of my crucible to get that done. Um, <laughs> which I don't appreciate. Game, thank you very much. Don't appreciate at all. Taking away all my good stuff. I don't like the fact that I have to reach across this um, augment switch button to get to the grenade button. I'm going to change it right now. Uh, settings. Um, change. Um, right. Now I can actually change my grenade over by, by pressing the key that I can reach instead of pressing a key that is just inaccessible to everybody with fingers. A number in which I proudly consider myself among. Among which I tried to be posh with my speech, but it didn't work. Okay. Well, I mean, what? So I brought them damnation, but she brought them damnation? What? Also, is that not like... If you're going to be a demon, expect damnation, right? Maybe it's a big if? I don't know. We're going to try and reach that then? Okay. Uh, I did have another jump. I was anticipating another jump to get over there. I was just having a quick look at the uh, thing that I flew through, which didn't appear to hurt, which is lucky, nor was it real. You know, it, the big ring was not actually on a, uh, a an, ex an extant ring made of, you know, materials. Uh, and then, and then where? I wasn't sure where to go next. <laughs> I want to be in there, but can I get through that? I guess I have to shoot that on the way down, right? Of course, why not? Ta da! I have to shoot that. This is going to be really difficult, actually. True as it may be that I am the king of platforming in this particular game. I was going to say where'd the thing go, but it's right there. It was just wasn't enough. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I couldn't reach. This is going to be a very difficult situation to 
apprise ourselves of. Is that all right? Is that the right term? I mean, apprising yourself of a situation is when you sort of take stock of what's going on. Man, this is really hard. Even the thing that I've done a million times doesn't seem to be doable consistently. Go there. I really need some charges on my big sword of nope. There's... I noped out so many fights today. <laughs> I mean, it was only two, but come on. Oh, he's done it. Please be a checkpoint. <laughs> I don't want to do that again. Learn that the um, music is... I don't, don't want to say procedural. It's made out of pieces. Um... But with the whole hoo-ha about the, the soundtrack from Doom, the, the special edition. Ooh, hello. That looks like Earth. Let me think. With the rings fully aligned, the dimensional it gate of Earth is now open. Get to the landing platform and pass through the portal. Earth does not have much time left. Because the icon of sin is on Earth, and the longer the icon of sin is on Earth, the stronger it gets, blah, blah, blah. You know what? Um, you know, there's a, a bit of a controversy or controversy, however you want to pronounce it, um, regarding the the chap who was who wrote the music and was putting together the um, the soundtrack, and then there were problems and blah blah blah, and Bethesda and it and politics and money and etc. Um, there is a question mark outside. How would you propose I get outside? Um, the the music's made out of individual unmixed pieces, which get mixed together progressively over time. As the, I guess, as the the action advances, as things change, I, I honestly don't know what causes it to change or how different it is at any particular time. But I know Earth doesn't have much time and everything, but there's a secret, <laughs> and I I'm not the sort of person to ignore the fact that there is a secret. Found it! It's a toy spectre on this weird, weird part of Erdak. Stop lying to me, Id. Here's the problem, right? I know that I can climb up onto these things, and you are intentionally and willingly causing me problems. I can go back. Why would I do that? When does it take me? There's a, I've missed a fight, look. And a one up. Ooh. I've missed a lot over there. Does that take me over there? Where does it take me? Have we been here? Wait, that's where I'm supposed to be. In that flipping case, what was over there? <laughs> there was a tube and I didn't... Oh, I don't know. I've obviously missed something and it was the wrong thing, but whatever. Here we are. We'll find it in the stream. Don't worry about it. Move. <laughs> uh, Django. Please stop. Tried to glory kill that dude, but it ended up using up my blood punch, which is extremely rude. I'm not quite sure how, because I pressed E, and it's the same button. I guess that's the danger of more than one thing being on the same button. It's also a massive benefit that more than one thing is on the same button, so don't count this as complaining by any means. Um, but, yeah, d different things on the same button can sometimes cause more trouble. Because now I don't have a blood punch, so when the inevitable Cyber Mancubus shows up. Do I just shoot? No. Do I. I don't know. I don't really want to be in there, do I? It's actually straight up just water. It does not hurt. I'm very, very much a fan of just water, it doesn't hurt. 
Have I got an oxygen meter? There is a one up in here. I guess I don't need an oxygen meter when I've literally been in outer space. <laughs> Just wandered around outside of the influence of my fortress of hell. Um, with nary a, nary a trouble. What am I doing, by the way? Also, a Doom game with swimming in it? Are you okay, Id? I'm kind of hoping to find um, anything other than this weird alien thing. I want, what, <laughs> there's more down there. Ah, I knew there'd be a big cracky thing for me to smash. Obviously a big glowy cracky smashy thing, but a glowy, a cracky smashy thing nonetheless. There's more? Well, I'm guessing they don't work underwater, so there you go. Um, well, now we can stand on those, so let's do that. Presumably to some effect. I'm not just going to stand on these for the good of my health. The transition from the water is so strange that I feel like I'm still under it. How about you? Fast travel unlocked. I can't help but feel that there is more of a secret involving that bit down there, because could in theory open uh maybe not maybe not let's just go back to earth now that we've l hang on once we've left hell and gone back to Erdak, couldn't we have returned to our fortress of solitude okay so how are you going to get the orb out of the chest of something that's invulnerable same Using naughty, you survived by being naughty. I just shoot the orb out of the middle of my chest. Once a mortal, still mortal, given the number of times that I've died in just this episode already. And now you've got wings, which you don't need. So what's the point in that? So I have to just shoot you in the chest, right? Shoot at the car maker to temporarily set a shield before your blood punch meter. When she's vulnerable, use your meat hooks to get in close and then use blood punch to deal damage. Okay. I'm gonna take stock of this area. Because I'm gonna need. Not to be pushed off the edge, if that's alright with you. I very much appreciate you spawning these things. For my benefit. Also, the BFG ammo is going to be very useful soon. Oh. Oh my god, shoot the damn thing in the head. Owie! Going to be a fight that we have to learn, I think. And then we're going to have to take the Icon of Sin off of her, which is very rude. I don't want to have to deal with that. Yes. Ow. What? I'm on fire. Why? Is it because there is a... Is it because of her? Probably. What is that? <laughs> Make it go away. Um, what if we just shoot it with something more powerful? Um, stop hurting me. You need three. I forgot about that. Even though you're a basic enemy. Three chainsaws. You just have to stop being like this. Why are you so rude? Oh my god, where is all my ammo? <laughs> um, I guess I'm using my rocket launcher for now. At least I can lock on with it. I'm wondering at what point the BFG is going to be the right thing to use. Get your meat stick out.
Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Obviously. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, how am I supposed to get chainsaw ammo if you will not... Um... Sorry, how am I supposed to get ammo if you won't give me chainsaw ammo? There you are. Keep shooting it. Um, maybe this one? Seems alright before. Ow. Oh. You just threw me off the edge again, which I find extremely rude. Quite tiresome, actually, as far as tactics go. <laughs> Run away. This ground is lava. Why is the floor lava? No one said you could do that. I don't appreciate the floor is lava tactics. It's very rude. I probably should not have done what I just did there, but that's okay. Just the entire arena is just impossible to stand on now. <laughs> I'm supposed to stay in the air forever. Come on. Then again. This floor is now lava. But I was standing on it. <laughs> Stop using the floor that I'm standing on as your pesky game, okay? Now this floor is lava, so I can't get to you. Also, we can now use the arbalist, maybe? No, thank you. Oh my god, let me out. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> What happened? There's nowhere for me to go. Once again, I am but a fool. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> what are you supposed to do? Headshot these jokers. Every damn time. What? <laughs> Why is it so hard to hit? Well, I never hit you one more time, right? Damn it! I don't know what to. <sighs> I'm gonna come back to this another time because I'm far too tired to deal with this fight right now. <laughs> It's going to be a short episode, I'm sorry, because <laughs> we're going to cut a lot of that out, but I, this, this is uh, overwhelming me. I'm finding this very difficult, and I'm refusing to use the Sentinel armor because I tried the Marauder fight fewer, uh, more times than this, so I am not going to give up, but I think it's important to recognize in yourself when you are getting frustrated at something and you are not in the mind space to do so, and if that applies to you, bloody learn, okay? You don't have to push through everything you don't have to you're not obliged no one is forcing you to do anything so if you're finding yourself in a similar situation learn the science and step back which is what i'm doing right now because i know that if i keep doing this i'm going to start getting really uh, upset about it so thank you for watching i hope that you've uh, enjoyed this episode and i hope that you've learned a little bit from me proselytizing at the end of that uh, but yeah i think it's important to know thyself and i know myself so until uh, i come to try this again i'm going to end this episode here thank you for watching and i'll see you next time